Hello everyone, Christina here. Um, it has been a crazy morning, sorry. I have no makeup on, This I, all I do is my hair again. Maybe this is my new MO every time I go live on Fridays. It's just crazy. Um, a few announcements before we get into today's project. The first thing I wanna let you know about is uh, we have a brand new class just announced like an hour and a half ago, <laughs> which is why it's been a crazy morning. We have a brand new class at onlinecardclasses.com called Stenciled 2. It's all about you know, using stencils and being creative with stencils. So please come and join us. There's a link down below in the video description. Uh, there is an early bird discount code that will be automatically applied when you register for the class through the 7th, I think, at midnight. So um, after that, the price will go back to uh, the, the regular price. So if you want to sign up for class, class starts on the 13th. Uh, it's me and Jennifer McGuire and a bunch of amazing guest artists. And we're going to be sharing with you some fun stenciling techniques. If you'd like to join us, go ahead and go to that link down in the video description. The other announcement is that I'm going to have mail call. The uh, mail call video, like the wrap up for February will be next week. Um, my husband went to my UPS box today, or not today, it was like two days ago, and picked up a bunch of stuff that you guys have mailed in for mail call. So... I wanted to wait until the end of February until all, everything had arrived before I start filming that. So um, even if it hasn't quite arrived yet, I think I'm going to go pick up one more batch of envelopes at my mailbox. I'm going to go pick that up probably tomorrow and then I'll film next week. So if you want to participate in mail call, the February theme is probably a little bit too late, but you can definitely get in on the March theme, which I don't even remember what it is right now, but I'm sure it's fun. <laughs> and um, so send in those cards for mail call. So today's card is going to be featuring, let me switch my overhead. It's featuring these really cute stamps from Mama Elephant. Let me put a piece of cardstock behind this so you can see. How cute are these? I love their animals. And normally they're really, really small. And these are really, really big. So this is going to be great for painting or coloring or anything like that. I thought it would do some watercoloring today. I haven't watercolored for a while. So I thought I'd do some watercoloring. And I love how they're kind of, they're a little bit um, size proportion, correct, right? like a baby elephant with a little bear, a fox, the cat is like itty bitty, so is the bunny. I, so cute. And then I've got the coordinating dies that go with, it looks like it cuts out this little bird, it cuts out the whole group, and it also cuts out the huge hugs greeting. So I'm gonna be using, um, I don't know if I'll use the little bird today, but you know, maybe I'll paint it just in case I want to. Okay, because I'm watercoloring, I'm going to use a waterproof ink. And the waterproof ink that I use the most is Versafine Onyx Black. So I'm going to use that today. I considered doing some no-line watercoloring, but uh, this is such a large image that I knew I would spend ages on it if I did no-line watercoloring. So if I ever do no-line watercoloring on a big image like this, I will most likely not have it be <laughs> in a live video because that would just take too long and I don't want to make you guys sit through that. So although it is pretty relaxing to watch. Someone in the chat asks, do you have a preference in watercolor paper, the way hot press, cold press, etc." My go-to watercolor paper, I'm gonna stamp this again so I can get a really good impression. My go-to watercolor paper is the one I'm using today, which is Fabriano Artistico Extra White. I use that more than anything right now, um, but for other uses or other cases, I might want to use a different watercolor paper. Let's see, it looks like just these little areas are right in the center need a little more inking. Um, for other uses, like if I'm going to do, I'm doing just some really simple watercolor backgrounds, or if I don't need to add a ton of water or whatever, I also really like Canson XL. I think that's a really great um, budget-friendly alternative, you know, and it's still a really great watercolor paper. I've also recently started using Alta New watercolor paper, which they say is a cold press, but it really is almost like more of a hot press because it's a little bit on the thinner side and it's more smooth. So if any of you want to try out um, Alta New, 
All right, today I'm gonna to be using Distress Inks and all of the, like the original 60 fit in this little tray from Stampin' Storage. I do have the newer ones that are set aside, but they're not convenient to pick up like this. So we're gonna be using the original colors, which is nice, you know, because I know, I know them pretty well. And we're gonna be smushing those onto a palette and then painting for the animals. But I do think like a pale purple for the elephant would be really, really cute. So shaded lilac and dusty concord. I think those would be great. I'm using a Royal and Ling Nickel Zen brush in the size two. These, these are really great brushes to use for painting smaller images like this, like the size two in particular. All right, I'm gonna start with shaded lilac and I mostly just want like a nice wash of color over the entire elephant. And then I'm gonna come in with the dusty Concord and add some shading. Hopefully I can get that like wicking away a little bit. And just soften it. Yeah, just like that. Oh, the mail call for March is stencils. That's perfect. <laughs> I didn't even plan that. That's great. Spiced marmalade for the initial layer on the fox. even has the little mouse's tail in the die cut area. So cute. All right. Oh my word. There we go. Oh, so cute. We want it a little bit like that, like that. And I like it kind of 
tilt it a little. I'm going to use the same Versafine uh, Black Onyx ink. Much better. I always love a really good like black sentiment strip, you know? All right. There's some Hero Arts Pitch Black. And I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool. Get that up there in that corner. I'm going to use Versamark ink. And white embossing powder. that in. All right. And I'm going to use my little itty bitty paper trimmer to cut off this end. I'm going to give the end of this just some uh, little ribbon end. I'm going to come in from the center, cut a little notch, and then come up from the corners up to that center. Okay. I think I can probably Cut off about that much and then when I come in I can just put them in just put it in just like that ooh like a Concord and ninth sea glass maybe so I can get really really soft color and then I'm going to use the stencil and go over it this right over the top and then I'm just going to tape the stencil to the card from the back from the back I guess I could from the front too in fact I might let's do that we'll do it from the front too over on that side just to hold things in place and then and I don't know how much of the heart pattern will really show you know, outside of the critters, but we'll see. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of liquid glue just right there. That'll go right onto that black piece. And then I'll just get this Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do that, hold on. Just had a, an idea to fix some spacing issues that I was like feeling that I'm like, hmm, I don't know about that. <laughs> so I'm just like cutting it down a little. Okay. All right, so I cut it down. I kind of like that a little bit better. And then I'm also going to Cut it down a little bit so it can be exactly centered. I'll get this kind of centered up near. The okay, close enough. All right, so it's just a little bit shorter than five inches tall. Yeah, the craft color looks really good. I think it, it it lends itself to the warmth of the image. I think it looks really great. So here's my finished card for today. I love how it turned out, especially when I didn't entirely know how it was going to come together all in the end, but I like how it, it worked out. And I love that with the kind of more bright purple, you've got a little bit of a brighter kind of aqua shade, kind of goes with that. And then the warmth of the card base along with the bear and the fox, I think looks really great. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I'll be back soon with another video. And until then, happy crafting and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.